You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So, firstly, thank you very much for joining us. I was hoping you could introduce yourself and then tell our listeners a little bit about yourself as well. Yeah, my name is Christian Lelleman. I'm the founder and CEO of XLN. XLN is a sort of multi-utility provider, so we supply about 120,000 small businesses with phone and broadband, energy and credit card processing, and Wi-Fi. I was hoping you could next tell us a little bit more about the research in our region here in Swale and what it shows about the high street and the state of things. Yeah, so it's it's very interesting, Daniel, but your region actually has the highest percentages of consumers of people that really support and, and want to see a more vibrant high street and also value Wi-Fi. So it, it's quite uh, interesting and significant. So from your experience, what are the reasons so many small businesses are closing down? I I think, honestly, that there isn't a magic sort of silver bullet we could fix. It, it's just an accumulation of things. So small businesses, as you know, they, they work all the hours and they don't make a lot of money. On, on average, about twelve thirteen thousand pounds a year. So if they're getting ripped off on phone, broadband, energy, credit card processing, and, and literally paying 2-3% on a sort of a tax on, on all card payments, uh, rates are going up, people are doing a bit more shopping online, etc. It, it, it all just sort of accumulates into a perfect storm where, frankly, it isn't really worth it. I mean, you, you need a couple of bad months in business and, and, and you have to close down. And that's why we all uh, really need to support small businesses, try and use them a bit more. We want a vibrant high street. But I also think we've got to try and encourage small business owners to, you know, get away from the notion that staying with the big companies uh, is the right thing to do. Switch to smaller competitors, get better prices, save that sort of one, two, three thousand pounds because that's the way you're going to survive. Well, I was going to say, that's the thing. Most people like small and local businesses, but they just can't survive. And getting that balance right it seems to be the problem. Yeah, it is. It is. But as you say, we all want a vibrant high street. We are a nation of small businesses, um, and, and we all got to support them. And it may be that the loaf of bread is is a few pence more expensive than at Tesco's, but, you know, it's worth it. Now, I understand there seems to be some hidden scandals as to why small businesses, local businesses, are struggling to survive. Yeah, when you look at it, you know, let's say take gas and electricity, about 45% of small businesses are stuck on really expensive sort of variable rate tariffs they can't switch from. Um, that adds a couple of hundred million pounds to the costs of small businesses annually. When you look at credit card payments, as I said, you know, small businesses pay like 2 3% in charges. And from next year, as you know, we are almost becoming a cashless society. And from next year, um, the big companies of Visa and MasterCard will start charging for authorization fees for, for contactless payments. And, and we have 10 billion card transactions a year. If half of that was contactless with a, you know, probably a two or three pence authorization charge, that's another 100, 150 million pounds. And when you take all of these things and add it up, like, for example, Wi-Fi in your area where, where you're, your listeners really want Wi-Fi in independent businesses. Most companies charge a thousand pounds to install that, and then fifty pounds a month. We've done it for free to our customers, but again, that's another thousand pounds, another thousand pounds lost there. And if there's only sort of ten, twelve, thirteen thousand to begin with, 
it doesn't take much. It's we, We're right at that tipping point. If we don't do something, all of us, government, small businesses, consumers, we're going to lose our high streets. It'll just be betting shops and coffee chains, and we don't want that. So is there any more that can be done to uh, help that situation, perhaps even stop it? Well, there's something called Small Business Saturday, and uh, it, it's something we support at XLN. Uh, American Express supports it also, and I, I think if we could all pop to the high street on Saturday. So is there anything else you'd like to cover or get over to our listeners or any useful contact details, especially um, for those small business owners who are listening? Yeah, so, you know, my advice would be you've got to switch. Of course, I'd be delighted if you, you'd switch to XLN, but that's not the main point. The main point is you have to switch. We have some information about switching on our website, which is xln.co.uk. Uh, go there, find out, and but switch. It's really important. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to our listeners here at BRFM Bridge Radio on the Daniel Monday Night Community Show. It's a pleasure, Daniel.